Yes, I did get my hair cut. What do you think of it? I got a good two, two and a half inches off. Feels so good. it's Kristen here welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a book haul these books are all the books I got within the month of June and a little bit of July and a little bit of May without further ado let's just look at all the books the first book I have to show is the grace of kings by Ken Liu this is a adult fantasy book um, this is book one of the dandelion dynasty and of course there was a sale and I was able to get book two as well which is the wall of storms never heard of this fantasy series before and then I picked it up I I was reading kind of the synopsis of it and I was like this looks really good to be honest I can't really explain the synopsis to you because I don't remember it but basically you have kingdoms and you have kings and queens and alliances and wars and all that good stuff that fantasy books have some good adult fantasy and some big chunkers too like this is this is a big book it's a big book the next book I have to show is a book I don't think I'll read for a long time but I got it from my mom but I'll show it to you guys anyways. And that is Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. This is a historical fiction set in England in the 1520s. So tons of politics and drama and kings and queens and stuff. I do like historical fiction um, and I do like political dramas, but this is a little bit out of my league, I think. It's really big. It'll probably take a long time to get through. So probably my mom will read it first and then I might pick it up later on. If you have read this book, let me know what you thought of it, if it was a difficult read or what. So yeah, I'm just going with the thick books. Jeez Louise. The next book I bought is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. This is a historical fiction slash uh, like dark fantasy. So the main character is a young woman who her family has a lot of secrets and mysteries she just decides to go discover it and figure it all out and so she ends up going to Eastern Europe and traveling and discovering all of these secrets and some of them are pretty dark and apparently it involves something about Vlad the Young Taylor. So <laughs> this might be a book I'll read in uh, the fall, that Halloween time. I might be picking this up then because I think it has vampires and stuff. So the next few books have a really cool story behind them. Um, me and my friend Lauren, we decided to go to a market where it kind of has food and clothes and bits and pieces of furniture and stuff. Uh, and so we're like, okay, this is gonna be a really nice relaxed morning just shopping together. I had never been to this market in particular and we get there and we start off our day with mini donuts and coffee. I know. And she's like, oh yeah, there's like a book stand here. It's really big. And I was like, what? What? Take me there. So we go and it's like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's maybe like a medium sized bedroom, maybe of just full, full on books, just stuffed with books. It was like stacks of books like this and then stacks behind that and then stacks behind that. They were like shoved in crevices. It was like really precarious book towers and it was just incredible. So I got some books and some of them are like so amazing that I found them. So the first book I found is Heirs of the Motherland. This is book four in the Russian series by Judith Pella. This is a historical fiction series set in Russia. The cool story behind this is I own, not kidding, one, book one, two, three, five, and six. And I didn't have four, I kept looking for it. And what do you know, this cute little book stand I find book four, so I'm super happy about this. I really like the setting of Russia, so I know I'll really enjoy those books when I read it. I've read book one and I really enjoyed it, but I didn't continue on. But now I have the whole series, so I can continue on. So the next books I have to show are just, oh, I'm just so happy. When I first got there, um, the man who kind of owned the book stand asked me if there was any author or book in particular I was looking for. First name that pop popped into my head, I was like, Brandon Sanderson. He goes on this search for it. So I'm looking for some books and then he brings out this book, Warbreaker. This is a sci-fi fantasy series. I was so happy because one, Brandon Sanderson, two, hardcover. Uh, it's in really good condition and uh, makes me super happy because I read, I just read Mistborn recently and I loved it, gonna continue on with the series and I would love to own more Brandon Sanderson and read more of him. I own this one, that's happy. And then the next book is probably the greatest find 
of this book haul. That is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is book two in the Mistborn trilogy. Oh my freaking goodness, I'm so happy because I own book one, but I didn't own anything else. I read Mistborn in June and I didn't have book two. And I thought, okay, I'll just get it from the library. But what do you know I find book two in this little marketplace book stand? I was so happy. And it's the same version. It's the same paperback version. I'm like, are you kidding me? I am just super happy. I'm over the moon with these books. Last three books I have to show aren't books that I picked out. It was the man who owned the book stall or book stand. He was huge sci-fi fan and he gave me these three books and I was like, thanks. <laughs> he threw them in for free. So I'm gonna show them to you. And if you have read any of these, please, please, please comment down below what you thought of it. Or if you've heard of it, just let me know. The first book is We by Yevgeny Zamyantin. Is that how you say it? Uh, science fiction, don't know much about it. It's already a really weird cover. I mean, it's short, so probably could get through that pretty quickly. The second book is Hospital Station by James White never heard of it. Apparently these are classic sci-fi books. Uh, it's about a hospital station in space, so it deals with a whole bunch of different creatures and their injuries, which I guess is kind of cool because I'm a nurse, maybe. And then the last book is Downward to the Earth by Robert Silverberg. Never heard of this one either. If you've read any of these, please let me know what you thought of them. I might pick them up in the future. So that is all the books I got within the month of July. Mm. all the books I've gotten recently in the month of June. Thanks so much for watching guys. Give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!